Okay, I thought I'd make a short little video about uh, the camera that I was using. Uh, I was actually having so many problems with uh, uh, focusing in and being able to see the dial test indicator while I was trying to view it. And uh, this is, I mean, it's probably, it's not a real old camera, it's probably uh, maybe three years old. But the, uh, the camera that on my phone is like, is a lot better than that. And I'm like, why do I have to keep using this when I've got this camera on my phone? So, of course the problem is, is trying to hold it. So what I came up with, with was this. Um, obviously it's not totally complete, um, but uh, it's good enough to just, you just mount the phone on there like this, and the, the camera's on the side. Uh, but uh, I gotta figure out some way of securing it or something. Um, but all I did was uh, cut a piece off in the bandsaw. Drill a hole with a number seven drill. And uh, just uh, tapped it with the uh, gun tap or the type of one you can put on a drill, you know. And then just screwed it out right onto the mount there. Uh, so now I can uh, use the uh, the camera that's uh, on my phone. And it's a lot easier to manage pictures that way too, because they're all like backed up to the cloud, you know. Uh, and uh, it's easier to, to get them off the phone, onto my computer, all that kind of stuff. So just a quick little project that uh, pretty much anybody can can do who's machining with a piece of aluminum and and stuff. You could probably buy go and buy a fancy one, but uh, for what I'm doing, this is probably work out pretty good. All right. Okay. Well, I got my uh, the other part of my uh, mount for my uh, tripod uh, smartphone mount. Uh, made this earlier to go on my tripod, and uh, this is. Uh, basically just an OtterBox clip. Um, I have the OtterBox Defender series, so I got this uh, with free shipping. I think it was like uh, 14 bucks or something like that. So for $14 for the cover, and uh, I don't know what this costs me, maybe 50 cents or something like that for the piece of aluminum. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break off the back clip. I did this for my uh, for my truck mount. I had a, uh, a mount mounted in my truck and I just broke the clip off and I super glued it to the mount. So I'm going to do that for this also. So, Alright, um, I'll break this off and then I'll, I'll show you the rest. Okay, I just broke it off with the screwdriver. Just put the screwdriver under the clip and pried it off. There's a couple bearings that came out. Uh, now I got this uh, this portion of it that's on there. Um, I'm just gonna grind it off on the uh, uh, bench grinder, right? Okay, I cut out an opening in the back of the uh, the case for the uh, the camera lens and the flash and all that to uh, shine through. I would have tried to do it on the the mill, but uh, my computer died, so I just kind of freehanded it. It's not uh, perfect, but It'll work for for what I'm doing, so I just need to uh yeah I got all the uh I got it all ground down um use the grinder and the belt sander, but uh the uh when the belt grinder got going too fast, it actually started melting it, so I just kind of started turning it on and off to keep it at the the right speed so all right, now I just gotta glue it on. Okay, I roughed up the aluminum a little bit on the uh, the belt sander just to give it something to grab onto, you know. And uh, I'm just using uh, super glue. I kind of like using gel control. Uh, it's a little easier to work with. There's things with gaps in them and stuff. So, all right. Okay, well there it is, my complete uh, DIY uh, tripod uh, smartphone mount for my particular phone. Um, 
just gonna let it sit up a little bit. It's uh, super glue, but uh, it's kind of a thick coat of it. They're thick underneath, so I usually like to let it dry for a little bit just to make sure it's solid and all. But uh, I said I've done this for my car mount for my phone for GPS on my phone, so it'll uh, shot there. Can adjust it and like this. Uh, so, so that'll make uh, videoing a lot easier. And, uh, alright. This tripod was uh, 30 bucks at uh, Best Buy. Uh, it's got a little crank on it there. It's mostly plastic, but you know, for what I'm doing, I don't need a two or three hundred dollar mount. So, uh, all right, well, that's it. All right.